What's going on YouTube, man? It's your boy, Black Raiden, and I'm back with a brand new video. And ladies and gentlemen, y'all show so much love on the previous Pro-Am video, I figured that I would bring you another one. Now keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is older footage. You're gonna see uh, me and the fellas that we have lower overalls, lower park reps, but that's because this is older footage. You know, we're much higher reps. If you haven't seen from the previous uh, two videos that's up on the channel right now, if you haven't seen the recent Dynamic Duo video and the recent uh, Embarrass or Destroy video, please make sure you go watch these after you watch this one and all the other videos that might fancy your taste buds. You feel me? So once again, if you're new, make sure you subscribe hit that like button and turn on those post notifications now ladies and gentlemen we are back in the pro am scene as you can see now look who we're going up against uh what's that a play shot a two-way sharp and i can't read that from here i, I can't really see what that is but y'all see what it is y'all can see it on the screen but you can see their park rep you can see their overalls and you see what we working with me the playmaker the ghost blade is the rebounding wing and King Banaka is the paint beast. And we back on this Pro-Am, baby. Like I told you in the last Pro-Am game, or Pro-Am video, should I say. I'm not saying that Pro-Am is better, but you do get your, your games more quicker. You can level up faster, and everything is just... It's easier and it's more convenient, you know. And that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop giving you park uh, gameplay and videos because obviously I uploaded two brand new park uh, gameplay and videos for you all on the channel. Make sure you go watch those. They're at the end of the video, or you can just you know search on the channel. They're right up there. Just make sure you go watch them. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm not saying that Pro Am is just a a, a better experience. Well, let me just say this. It is a better experience to a certain degree when it comes to getting games because there is not that long of a waiting period because it's matchmaking and when you have matchmaking you're going to get into games more quickly because the computer is matching you up but anyway when you're in the park and you're playing and especially during this previous weekend that it was a two times rep on the deck and everything because that's the way me and the fellas repped up the fastest you know you know, if you haven't seen that video, you might want to go watch it. But anyway, you're you're getting games faster. You know, when you're streaking or when you're winning on the park or the cruise ship or whatever you want to call it, you have to wait for games. And it's very political when it comes to the park. Like, for example, if you're streaking and what I mean by that is if you're winning so many games that the court is engulfed in flames all the way around the court then people are going to be hesitant to want to play against you and if you're a lower a lower overall or if you're a lower park rep player then you might run into the uh problem of not having oh he blocked that <laughs> he blocked that ladies and gentlemen but uh, don't worry, I'm going to get him back. But like I was saying, if you're a lower overall, if you're a lower park rep, you're going to run into the the problem of not having people to play with, especially if you're running by yourself. Now, if you got your friends with you or a friend with you, you can run twos. And if you have two friends with you, you can run three. So that's really not your issue. But if you're running by yourself and the walk on court is already full, then you're going to have an issue because people don't it, it, 2k is so political man people don't want to play with people who they feel is though is a lower overall or a lower park rep or they'll look at your win percentage and depending on if they're desperate enough they may or may not play with you in my personal opinion i think 2k should just get rid of like the win percentage not like get rid of it to where no one can see so you don't know how good a person is but i mean having the option of whether or not you want it to be publicly displayed that's just my opinion because if you have that option to turn it on or to turn it off it gives people the 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 choice of whether or not you're a good teammate to play with now i know there's a risk there's a gamble but there are people who have horrible win percentages that I've played with that are actually good players they either get sold out by somebody they don't know or they really just don't play a whole lot and nine times out of ten just because a person's uh, win percentage is decent meaning like above 50% if it's, if it's 
decent, that doesn't mean that they're good at the game. It could mean that they're running with teammates who just carry them. Or it could mean that they're just gotten lucky. Because I played against people who had really good win percentages and beat them easily like it was nothing. So it really doesn't matter what your park rep is, what your win percentage is. Don't get me wrong, it holds a little bit of weight, but it's not like it's the end all be all, if you feel me on that. Um, it's all about the person who is behind those sticks and who has the build. Don't get me wrong, builds do matter. And even though 99.9% .9 of all builds can shoot the lights out, that doesn't mean that the person behind the build, the person behind the sticks, or the person who is shooting can actually shoot. Your jump shot matters. Oh, like, by the way, like the video if y'all want a jump shot video. If y'all want my jump shot, you know, I know I missed a couple of jump shots here in the um <laughs> in the video, but I promise y'all it's a wet vid it's a wet jump shot, man. It's it's everything that you could possibly want. You're only gonna need one jump shot in this. If you haven't seen from my other videos, y'all know I green shots all the time. And in Pro Am, just because I haven't made any shots in this video, you feel me, doesn't mean that my jump shot is trash. It's not trash. It's just Pro Am is a different server. And when you're jumping from park to Pro Am, back to park to Pro Am, you have to remember there's two different servers, so you have to release it at two different times. You know, sometimes it gets confusing because you forget, especially if you spend too much time in uh, one mode versus the other. But you know, we still get dubs, we still get the win. And as you can see, it's 18 to 16. We were down, we came back, and look at me, up, oh, faked them out, but look at them, they reaching, and that's all that people do. They can't play defense, they can't clamp anybody up. So they just spam and spam and spam and spam and spam. And I missed another one, but it's all good because we got the big man, King Banak, on his paint beast. Don't sleep on that paint beast. This man got two big man builds, the two-way finisher and the paint beast. And you better be thankful. Well, don't be thankful because either one of them builds we could beat you with. But anyway, like I was saying, it, it, it really doesn't matter about a person's win percentage or their their overalls or their park rep or anything like that because the am clan we have beat level 40s we have beaten people who have hit level 40 a few times we haven't ran into any legends yet because we haven't really just seen any like that well, at least not from my point of view maybe some of the other fellas could like chime in on this but we haven't really ran into any other legends like that but i'm pretty sure we could probably beat them nine times out of ten especially if everything is clicking the way we want it to click and 2k is like downplaying on some of the cheese and everything we could probably beat them you know we're not a we're not afraid of any team we're not afraid of any other clan no pro am team no part player it doesn't matter don't we don't care what your build is we don't care what you got and just like the big man king banaka just did he shut it down ladies and gentlemen and that's game <laughs> that's game and look at us <laughs> Man, these animations be cracking me up every time. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button and turn on those post notifications. And, man, y'all be cool. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.